Welcome back. Today we are jumping on the bandwagon with smoked queso, complete with homemade smoked tortilla chips. But up first, we're going to do a little unboxing. I received a package from one of my barbecue team sponsors. It's from Gunter Wilhelm. I reached out to David and I mentioned to him that I would like to have a custom knife for my YouTube channel. And this arrived the very next day. It's expertly crafted and well balanced and matches my set perfectly. All right, let's get started. First off, we're going to grate some cheese. I find that queso is better when you use freshly grated cheese. For some reason, the package variety doesn't seem to melt as well, although you can use it in a pinch. Here I'm grating two one pound blocks of Monterey Jack cheese. I'm making a double batch as I am filming two videos at once this weekend. So while I'll show you how to make a double batch in the video, Please see below in the description for this single batch recipe. First off, we're adding in four cups of milk. Then we're going to add three teaspoons of sodium citrate. You can find this on Amazon and it's not terribly expensive. This is a sodium based salt derived from citrus and it's what they use to make American cheese. It's what gives Velveeta its creamy texture and superb meltability. So since we're not using Velveeta today, we're going to go ahead and make our own version with Monterey Jack cheese. Here we are just adding the cheese to the milk as we are bringing it up to simmer. Once we bring it up to a simmer, it should thicken up nicely. Then we're going to pour our cheese sauce into our forms. Here I have two Pyrex forms and I'm going to pour our cheese sauce into them equally. Then we will place them in the fridge and let the cheese set up. Now it won't form a solid block as we did not put enough cheese in the recipe. But if your goal was to make a block of Velveeta style cheese, you would need to add more cheese to this recipe and let it set up overnight. Now we're firing up our grill. Today we are using briquettes. We're using briquettes because they are typically cheaper than lump charcoal and the flavor that lump charcoal provides won't necessarily be relevant in this dish. We are only dumping out half of our chimney because we're going to reserve the rest for lighting the smoker. Once you scatter the coals, add a little more charcoal to the pot. All right, we're gonna use the rest of our chimney and the smoker. Go ahead and dump that in, replace the grate, set our intakes and get her up to temp. Our grill is starting to catch on, so let's replace those grates and get those heated up. And once those are in place, we're gonna head inside and prep our ingredients. Here we have one red onion. We are using a red onion today because once it is grilled, it has a delightfully sweet flavor that will complement the brisket perfectly. It has a tendency to turn grayish purple when you cook it. That's why you typically only see it raw, such as on a hamburger or in a salad. However, we're going to char it on the grill, then chop it and add it to our queso. So you won't necessarily be able to see the grayish purple color. All right, once we have those skewered up, we're going to move on to our poblanos. I've purposefully bought several smaller poblanos as I feel they are easier to grill and clean, but we're gonna use two skewers here to keep them from spinning around while we are charring the skins. So what I did was I placed the smallest one on first as I know that will be closer to the edge of the coals and cook a little more slowly than the rest. Being a smaller size will allow it to cook at the same rate as the larger peppers. I don't know if I've mentioned this or not, but subscribe. Okay, now we're going to give them a little spritz of oil. 
we're using avocado oil because it has a really high smoke point and that will allow us to get good clean grill flavors. Once you have those sprayed up, let's head to the grill. We can tell our grill is up to temp as the grates are starting to ash over. We're going to place both skewers on the grill. The peppers will only take about a minute per side and once they turn black, we're going to move them to the side and place them into a plastic bag. The steaming action inside the bag will cause the skins to peel off easier. For the onions, we are wanting a good amount of char. We're looking for a color that is somewhere between black and dark brown. Now it's time to assemble our queso. We have our leftover brisket scraps from the last competition. Subscribe. Okay, sorry, that was the last time. Take your time here and cut the brisket into slices, then chop those into cubes. You want a nice sized cube that will fit on a chip without overwhelming it. After all, chip integrity is a factor to consider. If you do not have leftover brisket, you can substitute ground beef instead. Once chopped, place your brisket in the pan. And next, here we have our charred onions, which are nicely charred on the outside, but still fairly red on the inside. As you can see, they have not taken on the ugly grayish purple color that is typical of cooked red onion. Next up, we're going to chop the tops off our poblanos, slit them down the side, open them up, then you can easily scrape the seeds. Some folks take the seeds out beforehand, but I don't see that as necessary. We're going to flip them over, then very delicately scrape the charred skin off the meat of the pepper. Careful not to tear or cut the poblano. Now, let's do the rest of them. Steaming the skins in a plastic bag makes this process go much easier. Go ahead and dice up our poblanos and let's place them in the pan next to our brisket. Okay, let's place our onions in next to our poblanos. The char on the onions are going to give a nice speckled appearance to the queso. Here we have three Roma tomatoes and are squeezing the guts out. This will reduce the amount of liquid that cooks off into the queso, keeping it from being runny. But now, we're just going to give those a quick dice and drop them in next to our onions. Here I'm being very particular about how I'm placing these in here, as my intention is to take a picture to use as the thumbnail for this video. Alright, so I just want to spice up the Monterey Jack a little bit, so I'm going to add some cheddar cheese. This is bag cheese, but it is a mixed variety of cheddars. And I think it will add nicely to the Monterey Jack. After we place the cheese in the pan, we're going to retrieve our cheese sauce. And we're going to place a large dollop in the middle. Next, we're going to slice up some serrano peppers just for a little kick. Place those on top. I would like to apologize for the blurriness of the video. It seems that when I reset my camera, I got some brisket grease on the lens. I'll realize that and fix that here shortly. And here is your Instagrammable photo op. It is gorgeous, but it's not realistic. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the rest of our cheese sauce on top of it. Now while it may not look as pretty, it will definitely taste better. Now we're adding wood to the smoker and we're gonna place our queso directly on the rack. Close the lid and set a timer for 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, we're going to give it a quick stir. 
Notice we are cooking a little cooler today. We are cooking at 250 degrees, and that is so that we don't burn the cheese on the bottom of the pan. Close it up, set your timer for 20 minutes. While that's cooking, let's head up inside and start on the tortillas. Here I grabbed a handful of tortillas and I'm slicing them into quarters. Once we have them in quarters, we're gonna place them on a rack. Careful not to overlap completely, but a little overlapping is fine. Once you have the rack full, we're gonna to head to the smoker. Oh man, she's looking awesome. It's been cooking for about 40 minutes now and just needs one final stir. Oh yeah, this is gonna be so good. This is what you call chunky style queso con carne. Now let's carefully move this over to our grill. It is still warm and that way it will keep our queso from getting cold while we are making our tortillas. So add some wood to the smoker and place your tortillas inside for about 8 to 10 minutes. Just enough to get a little bit of smoke on them and dry them out. If you dry them out, they will fry a lot better. Oops, looks like I left one behind. That's alright. The oil is hot and we're going to place a handful of tortillas in the oil. Cooking them in small batches. They are already a little dark from the smoke and will darken a little more. But while they may appear to be too dark, they're actually quite tasty. These particular tortillas were a little thicker so they added a nice structural integrity to the chip. Perfect for dipping chunky style queso. We are frying these in batches at approximately 350 degrees for about one minute. Then we're moving on to the next batch. We're draining them on paper towels and sprinkling them with popcorn salt. I find the popcorn salt has a finer texture and works nicely on tortilla chips. Here's the finished product. Let's go ahead and get us some chopped scallions on there and see how it tastes. Oh baby, that is so good. The brisket really steps forward in this dish and the poblanos and onions rounded it out perfectly. It is smoky, creamy, and delicious. If you're interested in more videos like this, click here in the upper right hand corner and you can see how we made smoked baba ganoush. It is also another dip that is fantastic on the smoker. Thank you for joining us today in the Pig & Whiskey Test Kitchen. Hope to see you next time. Find our recipes for this episode in the description box below. And don't forget, subscribe.